Da Jia Hao. Welcome back everyone to Explore China Tanso Zhongguo. Now I'm here at uh, 1,500, 1,600 years old a cave, um, like a huge site actually, um, in Datong, Shanxi. So Datong is the second biggest city in Shanxi province. Shanxi means west of the mountains. And yes, I just came here for a weekend trip and I will take you uh, along with me a bit. And I'm staying here with a couch surfing host. Uh, he's uh, 50 and I will stay with his family. He already picked me up and brought me here, but now he's doing his own things. And I already want to show you one thing. So here at this entrance to this uh, temple. So this is, okay, again, I can't read like the traditional characters, but you have like Se, which means temple. And Guo Jia Wen means uh, the nations is stable. Tianxia Wen uh, means Tianxia. So this is this interesting concept of below the sky, which you could interpret as world or everything uh, where humans live. And I was just talking to this to my girlfriend uh, recently that China has this uh, concept of Tianxia. Um, but of course, China also has Shijia, which is means like uh, the world or um, Dijiu, which means planet, but also Tianxia. And it means that Below uh, the sky, you only have the emperor and then his subjects, basically, and everyone is living there in the Jiuzhou and the nine uh, provinces or nine counties. And yeah, then you have Bai Sing An, which means like 100 people's names are uh, safe. This means like all people, like Lao Bai Sing, they live in peace, I would say. And then you have Tianxia An, so again, like below the sky, you have uh, An, so uh, safety. And here we got another, um, another temple. And what I'm always a bit interested about is the hand gestures. And in Korea, in Seoul, I've been to a museum where it was explained. I remember that this gesture, with one hand up, one hand down, means um, fearlessness, and that all wishes basically can get fulfilled and the gestures are called mudra or a different uh, hand gesture mudras and this is the meditating one where you just hold your hands in front of it and all buddhas can make this gesture and this third one here i'm actually not sure what it is if you know let me know and uh, please write it into the comments yeah while I'm walking here along to the biggest cave, uh, the biggest Buddhist cave, I can tell you one thing which told my host me already, which is about uh, Shanxi and Taiyuan, that there's one Cheng Yu, so one idiom, which goes like Taiyuan Gongzi, um, and that means, so Taiyuan is the capital of Shanxi, and Gongzi is the prince or the son of the emperor. and. There was once a very famous emperor during the Tang Dynasty, I think his name was uh, Li Zhemin, and he was born from uh, a father, or from uh, also a mother, but his father was coming from uh, Taiyuan. Um, and because he got so famous and such a mighty emperor, you can say to people who will become a big shot, or yeah, just like very famous, you can tell them uh, you will be a Taiyang Gongzi, so someone very successful. And yeah, all along here, you can see this cave. And I think this cave or grotz are one of the largest in China, one of the three largest, and they are built in the fifth century. Uh, Nijashamamengsu. 
，因为这个这段时间一直陪家里人哦，一直在转这些石窟。主要家里人年龄大了，他们喜欢。OK，、嗯、好明白明白了。OK， 你觉得最喜欢的呃石窟，我我我我需要去哪里？呃，第一第一好的。第一个，这一共我去了三个。麦积山的话是在甘肃天水，那个其实我感觉比较一般化，因为它没办法让你很直接的去观看。在甘肃的。对，甘肃的那个不如这个，但是甘肃的那个敦煌我是没有去过的，那个应该挺好的。OK。嗯，龙门的话也非常有感觉。好。<笑>好。呃，谢谢。好，再见。再见。Hello guys, now I'm here having breakfast with my host He Yu, Kevin is in his name and he's so nice yeah, to host me for one night in Datong and we're having the Dao Xiaomian, Xiaomian local ones uh, pretty good and maybe you can tell us something about the life in Datong Oh, well, it's a small town in China uh, It's not a hill city in China but uh, the people here in the Easy for daily life. Uh, they have Soren's his historical place, not uh, for made uh, Liu and Jin Dynasty. Also in Bai Wei, they became a capital. So they have a lot of things that you will like. So I welcome you to visit my city. Okay, and you were telling me a lot of interesting stuff um, about uh, Buddhism and the different uh, philosophic ways. I think, Buddhism. and especially I like the Bu Ah Farman. Yeah. What does it mean? <coughs> so pe people always thinking on the things uh, on two ways, uh, like, uh, like the uh, beautiful, okay, or right, or, or wrong, something, also, but you know. We have another uh, choice yeah. because the, you have got two ways of thinking one thing, you will make a lot of trouble. It's not true. Uh, so, we matter to sometimes put it uh, two ways of thinking away and uh, go straight thinking about the truly things. The deep, true other things we need to think about, you know. Not to get forced to think is this art good or bad. It's a two way. It's a one. We we do need to think about only two ways. We have another choice. So it's which way means glorified. Okay. Okay. I think you know. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It was good <laughs> to to know this, and now we will enjoy also the Hongshan roll and the good noodles. Mm. And yeah. So thank you again for having hosted me here. It's amazing. Welcome to my city. Hi. Now I've just been to this temple already here, to the Shan Huase, I think it's called. It was very nice. Inside, uh, I learned about the Si Da Wang Tian, Tian Wang, about the four big protection uh, guys of uh, Buddha statues. What I want to show you is these guys here. They play this game, and it's quite cool. Yeah, and often they are really good um, playing this and that's nice time you can just like so many times see guys uh, do sports outside or dancing so yeah that's quite cool or if uh, not something ready to a ball um, and something more slow then how about sword dance And I think this is Tai Chi. I've tried this once, but it was way too slow for me. Yeah. Now I'm standing here on top of one of pagoda or in one monastery, which was also built like 1,500 years ago um, in the northern eastern part of the old city. 
and yeah, here you can see parts of the old city. And around this, and especially in this direction, is like the new part of uh, Da Chong, if I remember correctly. And here you can see that a lot of this old city they are refurnishing or building up again. And there's like some very old parts and broken down parts. And actually, I think it's a good idea to rebuild it and try to make it as it was in the past. Also for tourists, they can come here and look at it. And there's a church, a new one, looks a bit weird. And there's also one part of the what is built new and all around you can see the city wall. Yeah, which is actually quite like the one in uh, Xi'an. If you go to Xi'an, you will also see the old city surrounded by the city wall. But in uh, Xi'an, I think the scale is much larger, larger as in Datung. And maybe also a bit more well uh, in shape but yeah this also looks nice here